What is cropping up stalkers? It is Zach the stock cropper heading over to the stock cropper plot. I'm going to try to finish. I've got about two swaths of the sprayer while the wind's in my favor here before the rain tonight uh, to get my soybeans cleaned up next to the uh, stock cropper plot. And uh, while I was driving I thought I'd just safely uh, have my phone on and not look at it and make some commentary in the last couple days. So uh, pretty incredible last few days for uh, for me and this project. I traveled out to Gaston, Indiana, uh, headed out there, stayed in Indianapolis on Thursday night, and then drove up to, uh, to Gaston and uh, got to meet uh, Jason Mock for the first time face to face, as well as his wife Courtney and their boys, and uh, it was just a uh, absolutely wonderful day experience uh, spent out there and um, you know it's one thing to watch somebody on Twitter uh, but it's a whole other thing to go and see him in person and see see the scope and the scale and and uh, you know and see and feel and touch uh, what they've got going on in the field and uh, Jason had uh, three different plot stops that were that were a really great demonstration of the work that he's doing and uh, it was just super cool event with a lot of super cool people um, got to meet and hang out with uh, Vance Crow who was awesome he had a great talk uh, had a really good conversation with Joe Bassett from Dawn um, got to meet a lot of other really cool people that have been following me on Twitter and uh, it's just fun to go out and make the connections and be around people that are like-minded in this space so um, Thanks again to uh, to Jason and his whole crew at Constant Canopy for having uh, having us out and letting me get up and share um, the stock cropper story so far to this point. And uh, Jason uh, told me yesterday that uh, he's planning on sharing the uh, the presentation that I gave here eventually. So when that uh, when when he gets that up on the YouTube's, we'll have uh, we'll share that as well um, on our channel or our socials anyway. So. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give a, a brief recap of that event. Um, great time. I highly recommend anyone that wants uh, a good few days away next summer to, uh, to definitely head to Gaston and uh, see what, what he has cooking. So, um, But that's it uh, for car content, and uh, I'll next be shooting from the stock cropper plot and uh, show you what's, what's new and happening there. All righty, folks. So here we are. Uh, we are, I think, officially two weeks uh, into this thing, so you're starting to see the channel or the wake of the uh, the barn wagon uh, parade going through the strip. You can see what's left um, in some of these spots where some of this stuff isn't representative because we did let the chickens sit here for quite a bit longer, so some of this is burnt off more. But there are new shoots that are starting to come up underneath here on things so we'll see how this thing repopulates uh, Sheldon and I have been talking about a lot of different ideas of what we may be able to do in here um, in these strips uh, after after this thing passes through here um, not sure if we could try to grow something again yet or if it's going to recover enough where we could potentially graze this a second time we that's not our intended plan but it's just kind of fun seeing how this thing is uh, shaping up after it goes through. Um, the corn is uh, growing at an incredible rate. You can see how tall it is in reference to the barn. When I left to go to Indiana a few days ago, this was hip high. And uh, this is now the tops of the leaves. As, as you can uh, see them, I'm, uh, they're shoulder high on me. The other thing that you're starting to see, so I haven't talked a lot about this intercropping corn piece that we have going on. But you're starting to see the arch of the canopy develop. So again, we planted a shorter hybrid, hybrid and stature on the outside two rows here. So this is Pioneer 1185. Um, and this outside row is planted at about 58, 59,000. The inside row is a little bit taller because it's got to compete with the, uh, the 825 that's in here at a lower population. Uh, 825 is a, a taller uh, hybrid. Um, so that's naturally going to leg out a little bit more. Um, but you're starting to see that curve develop uh, in the canopy, which uh, you normally get. So these plants out here, even though there are a lot of them, they're not having to uh, grow upward for light as much because they've got this 
corridor in here which their leaves can branch out to. So it'll be interesting to see how much of a dome effect that we get on this as time goes on, but I wanted to make comments on that. But this corn right now looks absolutely uh, sensational. Um, I'm really, really tickled with uh, how well it responded to the rains we've gotten and the two, two uh, wide drop applications we made with our Suzuki. I don't think we're going to get the Suzuki through this stuff again. Um, but we may do some, I think, uh, hand applications, nitrogen, not that that's practical at scale, but just for the purposes of having fun with this to really push the population, or really to push the potential on this 1185 on the outside rows. I think we're going to put some backpacks and do some uh, handmade uh, wide drop, and um, we'll probably try to find a really hot day for juice to do that. So uh, the beer will taste good at night. So as we walk up, uh, take a look at the chickens here. They're doing good. They're growing like weeds. They're really putting out a lot of poop. You can see it down below. We're going to have to work on our chicken waters a little bit. We got some new nipples that I brought over here um, to, uh, to, re to replace the ones. Ones we have are leaking a little bit, so we're going through quite a bit of water. So we're going to try to address that, uh, but they're doing good. They're enjoying being outside, and they uh, they like scratching and making little dirt wallows for themselves to lay in, and things are good. So we come up to the barn, and the pigs are appear to be having their afternoon nap, living life to the fullest like pigs do. We've got the rain flaps down because there's a thunderstorm coming from the southwest. One thing that we did add this week, um, I'm going to walk back around and show. I had Juice uh, go ahead and put a clean out port on the bottom of our, uh, of our tanks so that he's got it hooked up to the one. Uh, we've still got to do the second one, um, I believe. But we wanted to have the ability to sanitize the tanks. We got a comment from someone that I hadn't thought of, or a comment of an, a concept I hadn't thought of was what happens uh, if you have bird crap or some sort of feces on the roof from another avian species going down and infecting the tanks. So we wanted to have the ability to, uh, to sanitize, so uh, Juice uh, rigged up some more PVC so that we can drain the tanks all the way out to the bottom and clean them. And then, of course, we... Uh, we dump the the uh, the water so it doesn't go wasted onto our row of sixty thousand uh, pop of corn. Um, the sheep must be inside too. Here it looks like graze this down pretty good. We'll move this again. Uh, we're usually moving them in the evening. And they're just inside chilling out in the shade. What do you think, Nubian goat? Me too. So, that uh, there's not a lot else to uh, to report from this week. Things continue to work well. We've uh, had zero predator activity. Um, have not lost a single animal since we've uh, unveiled it. So that's pretty good for for two weeks. Um, one thing that we are going to be doing because uh, we didn't know this. Uh, or we didn't know how it was going to work, I guess, when we set up our pasture strips. These oats are going to start uh, turning and maturing, so I think our plan is is that we are going to mow down our other strips of this same mix to, uh, to try to open the canopy up so the other species that are down below, like annual ryegrass and these field peas and some of the, uh, the rape that we have here, that they're going to have more sunlight to open up because these oats are going to all turn a nice golden brown and they're uh, forage value and palatability to uh, the sheep and the goats uh, probably going to go less uh, when they when they turn brown so we don't want to have that for the other strips we might actually uh, overseed in some uh, sorghum sudan grass to have some more warm species the sorghum sudan that was in our mix um, I'm failing to see a lot of at this point and the forage experts told me you know we seeded this on April 7th and so it uh, it likes warmer weather uh, than what we did and so we're not seeing uh, much of that comes so we might try to mow this down you know about half the size for the other strips 
and then put some sorghum sudan so we've got plenty of good forage uh, for the months of uh, August and September um, and into uh, into October when uh, when everything will be finished out here so the last thing uh, for today is I wanted to uh, announce something here that's going to be really cool so one of the things that we wanted to be able to do in this project is to have the ability to broadcast it so that people could actually see and be transparent with how these animals are being raised so behind me as you can see up on top we ran fiber optic cable so that we could have high-speed uh, Wi-Fi access out to the barn. So that's a Wi-Fi uh, outdoor bridge portal thingamabob that shoots uh, solid Wi-Fi um, out to the barn so that we're able to live stream in high, uh, high quality and definition. So uh, the vehicle that we're going to do that on is our new Facebook uh, business page called The Stock Cropper. So if you're on Facebook, and you want to watch the live stream uh, we're going to start that tomorrow night at 5 30 and our plan is to uh, i guess what facebook allows is to for you to you know live stream for four hours at a crack and so what we're going to do is we're just going to set the uh, the camera up and uh, turn the thing on and we're going to pick a different pen every night and uh, you can log on if you had a bad day you just want to watch uh, the animals do their thing you want to watch uh, juice uh, do the chores in the evening or watch us move the barn uh, you know, that usually happens between six or eight sometimes. Um, tune in. We're just going to turn the thing on and give people the option to, uh, to watch the animals do what they do. So, again, check out our Facebook page, The Stock Cropper, and, uh, and we'll have, uh, have that thing access uh, cooking tomorrow night. Last thing I'm going to leave you with uh, is I had my, uh, my nephews, my brother's family, down from the, the Twin Cities uh, yesterday. And they wanted to come out and see the project and so I did a little interview uh, to get a review from some city urbanite boys to get their thoughts and impressions so here that is all right so this is Zach the stock cropper here with some cool radical dudes my little nephews from uh, the great uh, the great hinterland Northland up there around the Twin Cities and these boys came out uh, from the big city to see the stock cropper boys what's your uh, what's your impressions of our project here Surprisingly funny. Surprisingly funny. Check. Polly. And the animals are really funny to watch and budging with all the food. And, and they're fighting over the food, right? Yep, because they were out. So they, they're a little hungry right now. That's kind of fun to watch though, isn't it? Yep. What else do you like? I like the, uh, the two goats. The two goats? What do you like about them? They're four stomachs. They're four stomachs? Awesome. It's better than three stomachs, right? Yep. That's right. What about, really, what about the chickens, boys? I really like them because they're really like, calm and they don't really fight. Yeah, they're calm and they're pretty, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how about our corn? Corn is bigger than me. Corn is bigger than you. When I left three days ago, the corn was as tall as my hips. Now it's by my shoulders. So so do you guys give the stock cropper uh, an A+, plus for, uh, for, for a grade, if you had to give a school grade to it? I give it a plus 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 an a plus plus there you have it folks city children enveloping the love of the stock cropper what do you guys have to say to sign off keep working keep working what about you polly uh have fun have fun nailed it good job boys